Namibia's oil find has the potential to be a game changer. At the same time, Namibia has the ingredients to become a renewable energy powerhouse by way of a mammoth green hydrogen project. Namibians are divided. Some are elated. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and others still need convincing. Well, so don't get excited. I told them, don't get excited, cool it. And let's see how we're going to discuss with those who discovered well, what will be the benefits that will accrue to Namibians from that discovery. Is this a curse or a saving grace? Let's investigate the facts, baby. <laughs> Hyphen Hydrogen Energy has made progress in discussions with the Namibian government towards the signing of the implementation agreement for its planned 170 billion Namibian dollar green hydrogen project before the end of this year. Namibia is endowed with natural resources with world-class potential for renewable energy through solar and wind, which are the preconditions for green hydrogen production. Total and Shell's exploration success may be marked as the world's largest deep water oil find. Some sources indicate the find could exceed 13 billion barrels. This has the potential to unlock 15 billion in annual tax revenue over 20 years. But how optimistic are Namibians really? Let's find out. So, Namibia has discovered oil, right? A lot of oil off the coast. But do you think this is a good thing or a bad thing? And why? I'm gonna change for good. Yeah. Why? Why do you say that, brother? Because I'll be working there. <laughs> <laughs> so employment, right? Are you going? Yes, are you gonna I'm, go into the I'm shifts? I'm working there. Yes, in the oil. On a, on a serious note, so you think you think employment is definitely gonna be a, a factor to consider? It's gonna be a good thing that's gonna come through from the oil. I'll be the security guard there. Yeah. You see, I'll be at the, at the door. Big man thing. So nobody will see that oil. So he make 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 sure that no corruption take place there. I feel like things are going downhill. Yeah. yeah. Why? The country is just silently being sold. The way we are doing things is not actually okay. You know what I'm saying? I think that we should actually, as our class in Namibia, safe, bigger say, bigger share. Or to say, control rights mm. over our or to say, minerals and so on. You know and the resources, Re yeah. Resources. So that we can actually benefit out of it. After all, we just bring in foreign companies. I did just come and take and go out. Mm. You know Word, man. You gotta do more push ups, though, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm I don't know about you guys, but I'm more confused than anything else after those interviews. But let's give some meat to the bone here. Since independence, the Namibian economy was booming. This was the land of milk and honey. Everybody was making money. The construction sector was on steroids, and that's because interest rates were low, and the government was spending a lot of money on buildings and also just employing people. And this created a dependence on the government for employment. However, from 2016 onwards, everything started ailing. And this is because the loose monetary policy left the government in a difficult fiscal position. So since 2016 up until the current day, we haven't seen much growth in the Namibian economy. And given what happened with COVID, a lot of the sectors that have high levels of employment have been battered. So that puts Namibia in a very difficult situation. It almost seems like Namibians are short-sighted as we cannot even see the opportunities that are coming through in terms of this green hydrogen project and also the oil find. With these very high levels of inequality in terms of income, very high levels of unemployment, and a strong dependence on the government and, quite frankly, their fiscal capacity. I believe there's a very strong and important role for the private sector to play. And this oil find, in my personal opinion, is a great opportunity for Namibians to receive high levels of FDI, which is foreign direct investment, and at the end of the day, benefit. It's time to come full circle. If we can unlock 15 billion Namibian dollars of tax revenue, what does this mean? This means the government can get back to spending. This means construction can be booming again. But this time around, we have an opportunity to build this boat and make it a little bit more sustainable. I'm all for this, and I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in the next few years. I tend to agree with that sentiment. However, from what we've learned from talking to Namibians, Namibians are eager for change now and not in the next seven years. So now you've seen our perspective. We would love to hear yours. Let's get the conversation going in the comment section below. Reach out to us, we might even want to interview you as well. And remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.